Okay, folks. I'm doing a little in-home uh, experiment, science experiment here with uh, a protein supplement that claims to have 29 grams per serving. The flavors are amazing. Uh, no carbohydrates. There's creatine added, so on and so forth. It's a rocky road flavor. Now, if your protein is 100% pure isolate, it shouldn't smell like basically hot cocoa when it's in a saucepan on high for five or six minutes. And it also shouldn't be clumping together. The clumping is caused by sugars or dextrose or maltodextrin. So, as you can see, it's clumping lots of clumping it's just not burned powder which I will show in another experiment with a uh, popular and well-tested brand that everybody is familiar with um, that basically just looks like burnt powder not clumped powder as you see this is clumping up into big little chunks of balls you see that so um, anyhow this is a little science experiment to expose some lies in the supplement industry. If a product is uh, uh, sold at a cheap price, but the flavor is amazing and it's quoted to have 29 grams of protein per serving and creatine and, and uh, all the smoke and mirrors, well, there is... Uh, probably more than it to meets the eye. As you can see, this is clumping into a big freaking ball of mess, goo. Yep, so the uh, proof is in the pudding, or should I say the clumping. Um, I'm gonna expose the truth, people. Don't believe what you hear, don't believe the hype, and uh, don't believe the bitchin' bullshit, okay? I'll uh, post another video with another um, popular brand of whey isolate that is uh, priced probably where it should be priced, not at a lower price, because basically if it's priced at a lower price, it's cheap product with fillers and crap. They get, they have it.